quite a few people had written about Wrestler's Court. Now, uh, I've mentioned this a couple of times before. I do a <laughs> podcast with Dutch Mantel. Dutch Mantel <laughs> invented Wrestler's Court. Now, originally, it was just uh, a tool to wind up The Undertaker. Just for whatever reason he could think of, bring a charge and f- do whatever, just to amuse themselves. How did well, Wrestler's Court change over the years? Well, Wrestler's Court never changed. It wasn't nothing to amuse uh, amuse people. When you went to Wrestler's Court, you, there was a reason. Uh, they had me go to Wrestler's Court for selling Viagra. So Taker was the judge, and I was also, uh, May Young, God rest her soul, was my lawyer. And the way that I lost my case is that when May Young was defending me, she didn't say Viagra, she said Niagara. She called it Niagara <laughs> instead of Viagra. Oh, yeah. So, and that's how I lost my case. So I ended up in Russell's court by, I had a fine I had to pay, which the fine was I had to buy chicken and beer for two weeks for JBL and some other people. <laughs> so how much did that run you back? Oh, God. You know, with me being cheap, that got me. Because <laughs> I, I had to buy a lot of chicken <laughs> and a lot of beer. <laughs> So if uh, uh, you were in wrestler's court, let's say if I was in wrestler's court, how would I best, before it started, how uh, how would I make uh, the odds get stacked in my favor beforehand? Well, you might have did something that you shouldn't have done. I think they, I, they might have took Matt Stryker to wrestler's court too. Oh, really? I think, yeah, I think they might have. I think he was one of the guys that might have went. I'm not sure. But anyway, if you'd done something, you know, that uh, was really kind of bad there that you needed to go to court, then we'd go get Taker and let him know, hey, you got to be the judge. We got to bring so and so to wrestler's court. Did uh, Taker accept bribes? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure he did, but I don't know. <laughs> he wouldn't take one for me. I didn't have a big enough bribe. That probably what it was. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't give him enough beer and chicken. I didn't give, yeah. <laughs> uh, how many wrestlers' courts were you not in, but how many were you in the audience for? Uh, mostly all of them. When they had wrestler court, everybody went to wrestler court, whether you were in it or not. You know, you had to, you you were part of the 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 audience. Mm-hmm. So I was I was, I went to mostly all of them. Uh, having said that, let's go back to your wrestler's court then. So, uh, Viagra. Now, what was the big issue with you selling Viagra in the locker room that ne- necessitated a wrestler's court? <laughs> well, they I guess they wanted me to give it. Excuse me. I guess they wanted me to give it to them. You know what I mean? I didn't give it. You know, and, I used to, and I used to get them free, too. I didn't never tell anybody. <laughs> but at the time, you know, the Viagra had just started. So, a lot of guys, you know, weren't really smart to it. So, Viscera, this is a true story right here, brother. Now, a guy rest his soul. I started selling them to Viscera, and Viscera, Viscera would take them and didn't even have a girl around. He just was amazed at what they'd done for him. This is true. He looked one day, <laughs> he, he took one and he kept, he told me, he said, Teddy Long, he said, I just kept looking at my shit and I kept saying, who shit is this? Who shit is this? Because <laughs> right. he said he just couldn't believe, you know, he was having this big erection like that, you know. <laughs> so Victor, Victor used to take him just to take him, man. It was unreal. Uh, oh, I was going to ask you a question, but I, I think you might want to keep someone's people's privacy here. But uh, who, okay. who else would who else would make purchase? Who was regular customers of yours? Um, let's see. Not to, uh, golly, not too many guys. I didn't have too many customers. I just had, most of the guys, I didn't really, I sold to a few guys, but most of the guys that were with me sometime, I'd just pass them along. i just give them away because I had a bunch of them. But uh, I didn't have a whole lot of customers. I just had a few guys that would come. Sometimes they'd be in a rush or they had to pick up a girl or something and they'd like, you know, wonder why I'm like, I'd have one right there handy. And I always said to guys, you don't take Viagra because you need it. You take it because you can <laughs> it's like a boost. It's like if you drive, put regular gas in your car, you're going to get poor performance. If you put premium gas in your car, you're going to get outstanding performance. So when you take the Viagra, you're outstanding. I need to try it sometime. I've never tried it. Well, no. try it. Okay, I'll report back to you. I'll tell you how it goes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and, and and tell me what your girl thinks about it. I, I... Don't don't tell her. Well, Just see if she knows the difference. Yeah, you know, well, she'll know, and you let her tell you. <laughs> yeah, don't tell her. You, don't tell her you took nothing. You do. You just take it and go in, and and she'll be looking at you like, you you what? What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> <laughs>